and we are back i'm the dad panther variety streamer content creator and i'm master of none not good at any of it i'm learning as we go but i enjoy talking some of you guys enjoy listening and today we are talking about aew games as they've done their 2.0 two point show if that's what we're going to call it and see what what can we get from that from the games from the games that are coming out click click allow let's get into it all right all right so we're just we're just gonna we're gonna go quick with this one right we're gonna go cha -cha, like i'm doing karate chops in the air you can't see it yeah yeah that's a karate chop but let's let's <laughs> let's chop through this let's get through this aew games all elite was like listen we got another one for you a two-point show i think it was like the 15th of april and so we're unboxing that if that makes any sense and we're talking about whatever they have in it now on this one it was the bunny which is uh, her name just slipped my head just slipped i just i had it it's gone Allie, it might be Allie, the bunny alley and uh, uh kenny omega is up there and the setting is all it's a nice setting it's a good setting for what they're talking about and kenny's doing a great job they both did a great job they haven't really put anybody on the show that hasn't done a great job of hosting and conversating it's just the the lack of information that they're able to give us that's the only thing you can take away from it now the first thing they started off with is they started talking about the cell game which is the casino game and they talked about hey look in the casino game there there's an update a big update that's coming and if you love the game before you're gonna love it now because this update is gonna be awesome now i know from the update there's supposed to be themed tournaments from all elite and there's also going to be gifts like money, championship belts, a ring and things of that nature. So uh, I believe those gifts are digital. I don't think those are real life gifts. Let me know in the comments if you're playing it on mobile, not my cup of tea, but to each his own. So he also mentioned for that game, they're going to come out with more and more updates. Um, if you watch it, if you go back and watch it on their site, it, it was interesting. I get it. It's business. Their job is to sell it. And so that's what they were doing. They were selling it and uh moving on to the elite gm which a lot of people are waiting on including myself i can't wait to get my hands on this uh mobile gm game aubrey had information and they do a really good job of bringing her into the fold as she's working um, as a dev um from her background um working with the group to put this out now as of right now there's no beta there's no anything that we can be a part of but what she said was by the end of this year the game will be out for everyone to play with worldwide so that's that's interesting because they've they've i'm assuming are gone through all the proper channels that when they pick the date date will launch and it will be on the apple store and it'll be in the um google play store and so that's going to be worldwide by the end of the year now she said hey listen if you want some big news next month which we're in the month now they're going to give another one and when they do that's going to be some big news now i'm curious is this news going to be i don't think it'll be the date i honestly what i'm hoping is that the news is like a beta or something you can try or i don't know put in the comments what do you think the news is going to be the big news about this game now one of the questions that was asked is hey look what engine it's on the unreal engine and i guess because some people didn't like the look the 2d look that they were using i thought it was good like i've talked about it from the the moment we saw it i liked it for what it was because i thought it was just something easy to do um you're more concerned with what's happening for your booking than you are what's happening on the screen but she answers that question 2d why did the devs and them go with 2d over 3d and the reason why was production every wrestler that is on the roster for all elite will be used in this game you can pick them draft them do whatever you want and because you're doing that it would have just it's just going to be so much easy on the art and their ability to process and make this game so uh, it was it was nice to have the transparency that honesty of being like hey listen it's just easier this way and it's also she said hey listen it's also going to help with the update so when they're putting out updates and adding things to the game it's going to be so much easier so yes the power is there because of the unreal engine but they chose to go 2d for the fact that it would help the production of the game um now the mode that she let us know really wasn't a mode just the the part of the game that she liked was the finishers so you're going to see animated finishers for each one the coffin drop you know various other moves like i think it's the jaw lock or lock jaw um you'll see moves like that 
now I, I like it i mean it's cool she says there's going to be a lot of moves you're going to be able to see that you necessarily wouldn't see unless you watched a lot of matches because some of the some of the wrestlers might be tag team matches right so you might not see a, a move on television because that person's never done it but you'll see it in the game because that's how you'll get your finisher um for someone like me that's casual it's going to be awesome because i don't know everyone's finisher let alone what it's called now i get it it's not the actual finisher it's it's almost cartooned up like the uh, sega slash arcade slash super nes x ish type um wrestlemania the arcade game you know the one with yokozuno and the fish that would fall out of him or hbk would have the hearts and the undertaker and doink you know what i mean that was an awesome game razor ramon but i can keep going days and day with that um the other thing was that was it that was it I, I would say the other thing would be the console game that everybody wants but kenny omega literally says he came empty-handed yet again and i like that he's just being honest they don't have anything um he's impressed at the the models he made a joke saying he's seen some models and they look good they look so good you want to punch them you just want to punch them in the face um but i just how I've said multiple times in the video, I think they're really early in the production on this and having a pandemic. Plus, I don't know where all these studios are that they're using for the mocap and the sounds and things of that nature. I think it's going to make um, developing games interesting. And, it, and it's not even a think, it's 100% with all these games that are getting pushed back. Like, I think you had Gotham Knights that was pushed back, Harry Potter was pushed back um suicide squad was pushed back so you have these games that are you know pushed back and in development a little bit longer so like i said there's no rush we want it to look good we want it to play well but i just think they're really early in the development and they have a crew that is known to put out games so for me let me know in the comments how you feel about it but i'm confident i'm not worried about it like as long as they're transparent week to week or month to month they're letting us know or they're listening to the feedback I know that they have a team. It's kind of like if you follow sports, pick your favorite team, your favorite three players, and you're like, you're playing like a pickup game. You're confident that they're going to do what they need to do. They've been there before. You're just on the, you're just, you're just basically the water boy. That's, that's basically what it is. You're, you're, you're handling that superstar, a towel, right? And you, so yeah, it's the development crew they have can get the job done. I just think they're still figuring some stuff out. So there's no reason to send us down a road when they're still figuring out where they're traveling to. So that's it. That's all the information I have right now on AEW games. So all elite games, that's it. As I get more information, I'll let you know the next two point show, it might be in the middle. So maybe another week or so we'll get the information on that show. But if you check that other video, I said about, Hey, wrestling content creators, the other interesting thing with all elite games is they're right now one of the biggest companies that are cracking down or seems to be cracking down on some content creators for them mentioning or talking about or using their stuff for their games but it seems like some are getting you know in, i guess not in trouble but like an email hey hey don't i'm gonna take this video down and then some are fine with it now i don't know if this is necessarily they're doing or something legally or the algorithms the squirrels or whatnot but um, you did see, I did see Brie, um, Aubrey actually tell a content creator on Twitter and say, Hey, listen, I'm trying to talk to somebody to get this handled and get this fixed. We don't know why your video was taken down. So that's a really awesome thing. As again, the previous video I talked about before, I was like, Hey, look, what's going on exactly? Can we figure this out? And I think people are trying to figure this out, um, as WWE or at least 2k was cracking down on certain individuals. And so was um all elite games so with that being done until next time yep click a lick allow